Okay, let's see if this works. This is like my fifth time to try and do this intro. So my phone is starting to stop work and sound is not working out well. We'll see if we can do this again. So I want to thank LED Factory Mart again for hooking up these headlights, which I've already installed. I went to edit and I realized that the sound wasn't working at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do a how-to. It's all this now. And again, I apologize for this intro. I'm just really hoping my sound works. It's time for a new phone, guys. Let's get started. And again, there's the headlights. There's a wiring connection. Super simple process. Very easy. You do a ground, an accessory, power, hook these up to lights, and then you basically just download the app and you can adjust and change the colors of the halos. But first things first, let's get these tossed in. First thing you gotta do is remove the grill. Super simple, it's similar to the JK. You just pop these little guys off. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You take those off, use a little screwdriver or pick, pull them off, and then all you're gonna do is pull the grill out. There's little snaps in here, so it's gonna feel weird, but just pull it out and you'll be uh, good to go and you get the grill off. If you're not familiar with these, it's really easy. You pop this center portion up, so that comes up like that. Some people take it out completely, but I, I mean, you don't have to. It just comes apart in two pieces if you do it that way. And then you just ease this up. And then this whole thing comes out. It's a little bit harder to do with one hand, but there you go. Simple process. If it comes apart, no worries. Just put the bottom piece in first, then push this in, and it goes back to, together like normal. It helps if you don't have inserts like this or if you don't have your factory front bumper. But that's all it is. Like I said, it's just these little clips that you're essentially just popping out. From here, super simple process. You just got three 10 millimeter bolts. They pop out and your whole headlight comes out. Bolts out, headlight slides right out. And there you guys go. All you gotta do is undo this little Christmas tree right here and unclip it from right there. Now I will say one really cool thing about these LED factory mart headlights is this. They do come with an adjustment set so you actually remove the original headlight which has no adjustments because it's just a shirt. okay so the passenger side is a little bit harder to fish the wires up from the top through so i went ahead and plugged them in first now if you're going to do the led daylight running light um, halo ring go ahead and run it beforehand so i'm going to go ahead and run this essentially right through here underneath that and then connect it to my headlight over here if that makes sense and there you go like i said it's ran basically right under this can't see it comes out right here then you just connect the two all right just wrap buttoned up need to plug this side into the negative and then i'm going to hook this up to my f57 fuse you can find the fuse location here it is right there so that is the heated seat option and the reason i'm doing that is because it works with the heated seats and the heated seats only turn on when the um, start buttons press twice and when the engine is off even if you don't open your door and you turn the car off, uh, this will turn off. So I'm going to work with that. I've done a little bit of research on why to use that one. If you're curious on, check it out. But I'm using my F57 fuse slot. Going to hook that up there. So electrical wise, here's what we got going on. I use my ground point here since they're already a good ground. And then I uh, use my F57 fuse like I mentioned here. Zip tie this up. I'm going to tuck this way down here. Get it all out of the way. Make sure it's not affecting anything. Clean that up a little bit. And there you go, everything's all cleaned up. That's what they look like now, compared to the stock factory yellow ones. Gives it a little black look, perfect. Now, one thing I will say, it will behoove you to leave the grill off when you're centering up the lights. I put them in it's all the way tightened up so that they'd start in the factory location. One easy way to do this is if you have a garage, pull your Jeep out, point your Jeep at the garage with the factory lights still in it, turn the lights on, especially at night, then put a tape line on your garage door where the, the beam rests at, if that makes sense. And then that way, don't move your Jeep or anything, install the new lights, plug them all in, turn them on, and then adjust them to match the same beam line. So that works out really well. That's one of the best ways to do it. Then if you have a garage or like a flat wall that you can install in front of, I highly recommend doing that. Other than that, like I said, pretty simple install overall comparatively to other stuff. And, uh, one more time, the, la the first two things, the top three mods that I highly recommend doing are always your headlights, the Rubicon rock rails, 
and then just kind of go on from there. So those are my top two favorite mods, I guess you could say, um, to start off with. So again, hope everyone's doing well. Hope you like this and uh, more things to come. See, so this way, accessories on, but no daytime running lights. Yep, so there we go. But that's what that looks like and how that functions. Like I said, I'll, I'll use the app to change the color on that. But I'm so excited about it being a color. And then let's turn on the uh, lights fully. And that's what you're looking at. So there you guys go. If you got any questions, let me know. The brightest flip, which is great. I just, like I said, you just gotta adjust them. Make sure they're not blinding anybody. And we'll be good. I'm pretty sure they need to come down, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look. I'll try and find like a parking spot or something. But yeah, that's how they look. I'm about to download the app and make these change colors just for fun. <laughs>